If your computer struggles to run design software or render your beautiful work, then I've got just the tool for you. Tip -tot. Hello everybody and welcome back to TipTut. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about my experience with Vagon, a cloud computing service that I was asked to review. And honestly, I was really pleasantly surprised with my experience. For those that don't know, cloud computing with Vagon allows you to remote into an incredibly powerful computer to overcome the limitations of your device. It even works from your crappy old laptop that's been sitting in a drawer gathering dust. So if your computer has ever struggled whilst working on designing, animating or rendering, then Vagon could solve that for you. And it's a really simple process to get going. Go to Vagon's website, choose how powerful you want your computer to be, connect to it and off you go. Transferring files to and from Vagon is as simple as a few clicks and all your files will be safely stored until you choose to end your subscription. So there's no risk to your files at all. Importantly, all your data is both transmitted and stored securely. I was concerned about this a lot, so I reached out and got an exact response back from Vagon. Their virtual machines are isolated workspaces. Even the staff can't access your computer without you giving access and explicit consent. Data is encrypted upon transfer and when stored upon the system, and no personal data is collected by Vagon at any stage during their process, which to me is super important. So how powerful are these computers? Well, I decided to put it through its paces by building and rendering a Blender project using the virtual machine. So whilst building, I experienced no input lag at all, which is crazy, uh, probably due to the fact that Vagon has servers all over the world. So you can connect to the best one based on your location, which was great for me in the UK. Not once did the virtual machine struggle with anything I was doing in Blender, and this was true both on the second and third tier machines called Star and Galaxy respectively. I didn't use the basic tier as I felt there was no need for me personally because I was doing quite powerful stuff. Now here's the ultimate test. On the left is my £1,500 rig rendering the Blender scene, and on the right is the $8.99 per hour Vagon rig. You can see the difference straight away. Now, whilst I made this simple scene as heavy as possible in order to test the virtual machine, it still ran away from my rig at home. Vagon supports both CUDA and Optics supported Tesla T4 GPUs. You can switch between performance options at any time whilst keeping your data safe. You can change computer language at any time like you can with any normal PC. And you can switch your mouse scroll with a single click, which is really important coming from a Mac to a PC user. So that's 37 seconds on the Vagon virtual machine versus 1 minute and 48 seconds on my £1,500 home rig. So if you take that into animation, then render time alone is worth the price of a Vagon, let alone having access to a much more powerful machine at your leisure. That pretty much settles it for me, which is why I'm happy to say that I absolutely can recommend Vagon as a service for those that occasionally or frequently need access to powerful design computers but can't afford to buy their own custom rig. Or perhaps you don't need a powerful computer all the time, just occasionally. Whatever your preference, Vagon has something to suit your needs and I honestly am struggling to come up with anything negative to say about my experience with them. So head on over to their website using the link in the description below and check out Vagon for yourself. Thank you very much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video and review. Check out Vagon and I'll see you next time on another episode of TikTok. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks and tutorials. Thanks for watching.